Hey, uh, my name is Chris Longshanks. I'm here at Ditch Records, which is where I work during the day. There are these records that keep everybody in line here that we can all agree on. And those are really important because we need to be able to, you know, oh, fuck, I totally fucked that up. And here are some of those records. Um, Nick Cave's become a bit of a, a saint here at the shop. You know, he's got an amazing story. He's gone from being a drug-addled post-punk guy in the birthday party to being a piano ballad troubadour. Um, yeah, this record's awesome. Uh, pretty much any Nick Cave record works in the shop, you know. We can all agree on almost anyone. But uh, Dig Lazarus Dig especially is the most recent one. It's just awesome. Black Mountain's first album. And yeah, they are a fantastic mix of uh, psychedelic rock, 70s classic rock vibes, and stoner rock riffing. Um, it's, it's not metal, but it's, you know, close. And uh, everyone in the shop's uh, pretty big fans of these guys, both of this album and their second one in the future. Um, pretty much can't go wrong with this. If you throw it on, no one in the store is going to complain. Uh, the first Roxy Music record, uh, a surprising amount of people aren't familiar with. Um, but uh, the first two Roxy Music records are amazing and insanely influential. And uh, when you take into account when they came out, they are light years ahead of when so many people uh, started, uh, you know, taking some risks with uh, rock music. Uh, some of the textures on the record are just amazing and uh, totally add to the uh, all-round fantastic nature of the albums. So yeah, another one that we all can totally high-five on. Woo! The second album by Neutral Milk Hotel, In the Airplane Over the Sea, is a is about as bona fide a classic record as you can get in our shop. Neutral Milk Hotel are basically, they're kind of one guy, Jeff Mangum, who since this record hasn't really done anything. Uh, the music on there is, is kind of a lo-fi, folky, just bleeding heart, unbelievably raw, emotional kind of singer-songwriter sound. And uh, yeah, it's just a, a pretty awesome record. Um, um, yeah, it's another sure shot. Remain Light by Talking Heads is a fantastic album. Um, very rhythm oriented, very upbeat. They have a very, um, there's a big ethnic world music tribal feel to the records. And uh, you could basically pick any record from the Talking Heads catalog and it's gonna be a whole schwack load of dancing at Ditch Records. Uh, if you don't know, get into it. Despite the dystopian paranoia and all that jazz that is uh, injected into this record from Tom York and crew, um, Kid A is, is definitely a record that will uh, bring a soothing, calming feeling over the shop. That's not Kid A. Oh no, it's Amnesiac. In my face. Awesome. What's the fucking... What are the songs on this one? There is nothing like some good old soul, uh, and especially when it's got a little bit of funk going on. It's hard to deny, uh, listening to this dude, um, just the unbelievable appeal of uh, some good funk soul music. Um, this is just the greatest hits, obviously. Um, it has I'm Still In Love With You, Let's Stay Together, and my personal favorite, Love and Happiness, which is just a stone cold groove. It's crazy, just classic soul music. Um, good times. Um, an album that, you can't stare at me while I'm doing this. An album that possibly people wouldn't expect, but uh, comes up. Um, Oasis is first album, definitely maybe. And as a limited time promotion, uh, until the end of Riflandia, if you come by ditch and you say the secret word, which is Aquitania, you'll be given a free seven inch. But this record, uh, and, and most people, that's because of What's the Story, Morning Glory, their second album, which is totally awesome as well. It's a great record. Um, but, you know, for all the heads out there, you know, the first Oasis record is where it's at. Um, the record is a loud rock and roll record about being, you know, working class British and kind of not giving a fuck about much. And uh, as shallow and stupid as that sounds, it translates into some pretty awesome rock and roll tunes. And uh, yeah, fine form. They were in fine form here.